everyone, uh, this is Dr. Amala, Senior Diabetologist from Voluntary Health Services Chennai. So today I'm going to be discussing a few points about what is diabetes and what are the other diseases being caused by uh, this disease called diabetes. Diabetes is actually a metabolic disorder where the sugars are uncontrolled. Basically the body doesn't respond to the insulin that is being secreted and we call this insulin resistance. So what happens if we leave these sugars uncontrolled? These uncontrolled sugars can affect almost all the blood vessels in the body uh, which are supplying the vital organs like the heart, the brain, the kidney, the eyes, the nerves and so on. So that is why uh, we as diabetologists we feel that it is very important to control these blood sugars. So uh, these uh, disease clusters are called as complications of diabetes. So diabetic complications can be either acute or chronic. So by acute complications, we mean um, the problems like hypoglycemia, otherwise called as low blood sugars, and diabetic ketoacidosis, that is very high blood sugars, where the patient becomes very sick and even gets hospitalized. And the chronic complications are um, entities like diabetic neuropathy, where the nervous system gets affected, diabetic nephropathy, where the kidney gets affected, and diabetic retinopathy, where the eye gets affected. So, uh, how to avoid all these complications? So, uh, a diabetic patient has to listen to the diabetologist and take all his medication religiously along with uh, following lifestyle modifications like a good diet pattern and a good physical activity. So, by doing all this, you can keep your blood sugars under control uh, which is uh, shown by uh, HbA1c that is the 3 months of your average uh, blood sugar uh, somewhere around 7. So your HbA1c of 7 means that your sugars are under good control and it is very less likely that you will be developing all these complications. Uh, so uh, going on to the acute complications, uh, as I mentioned earlier, one is this hypoglycemia or the low blood sugar. Why is it harmful? So if a person's blood sugar is consistently low, it can also affect the functioning of his brain and heart. So we have to identify this low blood sugar fast and act fast. So uh, if you have symptoms like dizziness, increased sweating or palpitations, you can check your uh, blood sugars uh, with a glucometer which you can keep handy at home. And if your blood sugars are somewhere uh, below 70, it is always uh, advisable to take some uh, glucose at home or if it is really low if, or if you see a patient who has a very low blood sugar, it's better to take the patient to the hospital. Similarly, diabetic ketoacidosis is a condition where uh, the person's blood sugar, sugar becomes very high somewhere in the range of 400 to 500 and the patient becomes breathless and very tired and weak. So these patients also have to be hospitalized immediately. So these are all the acute complications which every diabetic patient has to know. And um, so as a diabetologist, I would advise all my uh, patients uh, to regularly visit their diabetologist, take their medications properly and monitor their blood sugars regularly so that all these complications can be avoided. So thank you very much for uh, listening to me. You can catch me up on my next talk on differences between type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Thank you.